So when you create a new location, you get this node automatically created for you. And this is the location node, identified by this little icon. And it's got some special extra properties in the states. <clears throat> so currently we've got a few states that we're using to position hotspots. So we're going to duplicate the first state. We're going to call this office. And we'll make this the default state when you start the game. So if we go into the office, we don't want that to be in space, so we're going to change the environment. So these are some uh, presets that you get. So if we choose hex room, for example, so this can be our office. Now, if you like, you can select one of these and duplicate it to create your own environment settings. So let's have a, a quick look at that. So you give it a name. You can um, choose the image that you want to use. So for example, you can download some proper photos for realistic settings. But we're just going to stick with X room on this one. You can also choose just to have a color and choose a solid color or a gradient and just create the, the effect you like. And you can choose to have a pass-through cam camera as a background. So if you're using mixed reality, you'll see your physical room. And just for now, I'll say we're going to generate the light uh, background from the lighting. And then I can show you the lighting source. So if I set the lighting source to manual, I can drop in and configure it. And what this lets you do is set the colors of these various lights. So you just touch the one you want to change, and then you can create the color for it. And you can see the color changing on the objects around you. And then you can reposition these and, and keep adapting them to give you the right mix of colors to match your environment. So if I move this blue one around the back, you can see that the background is actually changing as well. So the background is using these at the moment. It lets you visualize your lighting as well, where the light's coming from. You can also choose to make a light flicker, give you kind of a flame effect. Or, for example, you could have a, a red light and make it pulse, like an alarm's going off. Or you can even tell it to change the hue, like a bit of a disco effect. <clears throat> So for our examples though, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the default lighting and I'm going to have a background image, just the hex room, so nice and simple. Uh, you can also choose to take the, the lighting source, you can use the background image itself. So that it'll do a sample automatically and try and light the objects. So I'm just going to use default for now. Okay, so we've set up uh, the visual environment. We can also choose some music for our office as well. I'm going to use this Far Stars track. <clears throat> so that's okay for the office. Now we've got these other states that you use actually in gameplay. So I'm going to drop into these and I'm going to set the environment for space. And I'm going to set the music to Alien. I need to confirm that. That's it. So I'm going to do the same on two and three. So space, music, alien. Space and music, aliens. Okay, so you can use the eye icon just to swap between these environments as well. So I'll put us back to the default for now. Right, so when we start the game, remember we had a, a start button. We can now say that we want to append a new command and we can simply change the node state of this node down here, the location node. We'll say when you start the game, 
into the first state, which is going to put it into space. And we can tell it to transition for a few seconds. <clears throat> and then in events, we've got an end event. So I can also insert a node here to say change the node state of the location node back to the office when you've done. And again, let it take a few seconds to transition. Also, while we're here, I think we should have a, a sound that plays when the game ends. So let's play a sound effect. And we'll load an inbuilt one. Now it should be obvious the game ends and it will change the environment as well. One other thing that we could consider is the, the spaceship doesn't make a sound, so you have to locate it visually. So we'll add a sound effect to the, to the UFO. So on its events, when it arrives, uh, just as we're showing it, I think. Yeah, just after there. We're going to play a sound effect, and I've not got a UFO sound effect, so I'm just going to record something. So anything will do for now. Because it's a distance away, I'm going to put a minimum value of minimum volume of one, otherwise things can start to uh, disappear as they're far away and you'll not really hear them. And I need to make sure I save this, so put UFO, UFO's here. And what you do is you can optionally loop sounds as well, and when this spaceship is hit, it's not really making any noise anymore, so up up there, I'll just say if it gets hit, then stop sounds. Okay, so let's give that a try. So we're in our office location. We start the game. Let's put us into space. We can now hear when the spaceship arrives. sound stops when we hit it with the bomb. The music's changed as well. Okay, so we're running out of time now. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there you go. So we'll get the, the message at the end. The environment changed. And we've got this sound effect telling us that the game is over and the music has changed as well.